The last and only other time A.J. Browns faced the 49ers, number 11 had 11 catches for 145 yards and a score. And a Thursday night coming off an injury against the Niners last year for the Titans. And on the night Alabama beat Georgia for the national championship five years ago this month. If we had told you that one Crimson Tide quarterback would be hosting the NFC championship game as an MVP finalist before turning 25, you'd have probably chosen Tua over Jalen Hurts, just as Nick Saban did that night. But, as we know... It's Hertz who has blossomed into an MVP finalist, despite a ton of obstacles placed in his way. And that should not surprise you at all, because Hertz is a son of a coach and thus a tough son of a gun, who has always taken hard coaching very well, as a bunch of those hard-nosed coaches happily shared with us. Hertz. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. He's in for the touchdown. Tell me how I look in the crowd. I always thought he had a natural instinct for understanding the game. Jalen Hurts to seal this Eagles win. Jalen's driven by proving himself right. Not to prove other people wrong. Well, it's his, his competitiveness, his maturity comes from his dad, the way he was raised, the way he was coached. He's very, very unique. I played college ball, had some NFL tryouts, but never made it. And then when I got out of school, I have to make a living. You know, I might as well try this thing called coaching. Once I got in it, just never looked back. Growing up, we didn't have daycares. We spent our summers with our dad in the weight room at summer workout programs, wherever school he was at. It's the time invested into being around the game, soaking it all in like a sponge. Jalen, he's had so many examples on what to do and what not to do. I just never knew what was really being created with him. He learned at a young age to work hard and push yourself. Jalen learned from those experiences. And, you know, you obviously get four years to play on the high school level, but it's almost like you have more years experience because of your experience growing up with your dad in the field house for X amount of years. First game is junior year, I was like, okay, I guess my baby done grew up. Jalen was a great athlete. You know, we thought he was a guy that fit the criteria for what we wanted. Obviously, he did. Jalen rode early. He helped them prep for the bowl season. He was actually Deshaun Watson for a week. Got all of these highly recruited athletes getting ready to play for a national championship. And here you have this 17-year-old kid. Hey, go beat the shine and give them the best picture you can. Play action. Hurts. And another touchdown for the tie. The greatest thing about Jalen was the year that he was here when he wasn't the starter. After the national championship game. It would take a lot to pull a guy who's been clutching his career. And here it is. Tungabaloa gets the second half start. I told him, you need to take advantage of this year to continue to improve your ability to read coverages, be accurate with the ball, anticipate throws, because that's really what you need to improve on to be able to play at the next level. You have to show character in a much greater sense when you're in that circumstance, in that situation. I've never seen anybody do it better. He made me a better coach. He's just got a little different presence about him, and it's it's really, really impressive. It was kind of like, wow, we're playing with a guy that's different than what we've ever had. When the NFL team started calling, well, I just said he is as rare as they come in terms of his mindset and mentality. I'm feeling like a rock. Hurts keeps, Hurts cuts, and Jalen Hurts, touchdown. And a lot of winning going on in Philadelphia. I still think we're seeing just kind of the beginning of what he can be in that league, which is an exciting thing to think about if you're an Eagles fan. To the end zone and caught for the touchdown. Some people are shocked at the ascension or the progress he's made. It's just a testament to the work that he's put in. I won't put a limit on it. 